Good morning, guys. This morning started at 1 in the morning, but this message has been going on for a while. I'm going to give you the scriptures and then tell you what really the Lord's been showing me, laying in my heart, teaching me. Just not a great, it's not the greatest message, guys, but it's got to get out. It's a great message, but yet it's out of Isaiah 5, Ecclesiastes 3, 17 and 18, and John 1. We're, but it's all along the lines of the repentance piece, turning, because we're justifying sin. The sin that's killing America as a country, as a nation, because there's blood on our hands, guys, and it's spilled over into everything. This is what the Lord showed me when I was praying, so then maybe you'll listen to the rest of the message, maybe you won't. It, it's still going to get out there. <clears throat> I was praying about this, about all this abortion mess. And I would tell you how it's spilling all over. And I was like, okay, God. <clears throat> and he said, we're covered under the blood, but the wrong blood. The blood of the unborn, the blood of our brothers and sisters. The devil's main goal is to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's what he's doing. And how it spilled over because we've allowed it as a nation, as Christians. We just look the other way, we bark, but no bite. So it's time to repent, turn from our wicked ways, humble ourselves, cry out to the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. It's spilled out across the land, guys. Just, you don't even have to open your eyes. You just have to turn on, just walk out the door, turn on the news. Black lives matter. No lives matter. Everyone's lives matter. People are getting killed all over the place because, because of the spirit of death and destruction. The enemy is running through this land It's all kind of, I mean, I'm not conspiracy theory and all this. That's the reason why I'm, I'm not barking about the non-mask because it was like it's a health, it's not. It's a garbage mask. Look at them. They're the, the cheap ones. That you, man, they're trash. They're not even any better than wearing a tissue paper. A piece of great value toilet paper on your face, honestly. Yeah, you know, it's doing nothing. There, it's the hiding of the sin behind it of death and destruction <laughs> and, 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 and we try to politicize it we try to justify it we try to put it in a box <laughs> God's not looking the other way on this one guys anymore church doesn't want to hear that I get it I don't want to hear it. I was praying and it was about a year ago. And the Lord said, I was praying and I'm thinking about out of Genesis, Cain and Abel story. <clears throat> the Lord said, are you your brother's keeper? And he spoke and he said, yes, you are. We've let, look at California, it's all revolved around death and destruction, but it's all revolved around the sins, of the sexual deviant stuff. Why? Because God had made a holy and for creation of mankind. The enemy is trying to destroy, steal, kill, and destroy 
every chance he gets. However, he has to do it because all the gay issues and stuff, can you, can you create life out of that? No, you just, it's just for the pleasure of the sex and the deviant stuff. Now look at it. Man, it's appalling, guys, is it not? <clears throat> Everywhere you turn. Abortion is covering up the sin of, of the lust of the flesh, of the, the of illicit unmarried sex, most of it, but it's just, let's be real here, guys. Just covering it up. Look at all the stuff that they do. They make money off the baby parts. Man, it's just, it's hor horrific. Look what they do to, you know, an eight month old, nine month old baby. It's not a, you know, you, it's, it, no signs in it anymore. It's way past their stupidity of a blob. <laughs> and we've allowed it. We're a, even the, it's, it, it, I gave you those scriptures. Look them up, guys, and read them. But these are the songs the Lord gave me, too, to go with this. And then I want to tell you about signs, because we're all looking for signs right in front of us, guys. The sign just hit a smack. Wait. Wow, I could have had a V8. It's an old commercial, but some of y'all old people might remember it. But it's like, really? These are the songs, okay? Look up the song, The Sound of Silence. Um, you know what, when I would look up an old rock and roll song, look up the lyrics to it. Look up the s lyrics to the song, Sympathy for the Devil by the Rolling Stones, 1968. Hope you guessed my name. That's all this where all this coronavirus and mask mess is hiding. Hope you guessed his name. And it's pretty blatant and right in front of her face, guys. He also told me that we've lost a generation. The church has lost a generation. And we have. It's killing America. We're letting it be destroyed, guys, right before our very eyes. And it's not just it's it's not just America because that has become an idol too, honestly, guys. The politics, all the stuff. <laughs> but we want our land to be blessed. But we don't want to idolize it. I'll tell I'm gonna end with this because <clears throat> I want you to just really pray with me, weep between the porch and the altar. Let's do it this morning. But this is, we're all looking for signs. It says there's not going to be a sign. I'm not, I should have looked it up a little bit. And I apologize, I didn't. I can't remember the man's name, but it was the older black guy that was, that was recently killed a couple months ago, a month or two ago. And everybody was like, oh, he got killed because he, you know, was on the news and promoting Trump. He had two signs, guys. One was vote for Trump, but the one next to him, Matthew 25. He had scripture, he's quoting scripture. His life wasn't taken just because he was a Trump fan or not politicizing it. It was taken because he was standing for God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost. Quoting scriptures. It's in Matthew. The stone that the builders rejected. Read that one. I think it's 22. I'm pretty sure. We either have to fall on the word and it's going to break us or the word's going to fall on us and crush us and grind us to powder. His word is life. And all we're doing is promoting death and destruction. Churches, unfortunately, me included, guys, were guilty as charged. I don't like it. 
I want to go a different direction. I want to warm, fuzzy feeling message too. I want a safety blanket too. Guys, why do you think all this happened? The lights weren't turned off. There was no power there. Claimed it, didn't have it. Everybody's like, look what happened with all the Supreme Court and we get a justice in there and nothing's changed. Not really. Has the law changed? No, it hasn't. <clears throat> We've let more innocent lives be lost than, that, than the fruitcake crazy maniac Hitler did. Honestly, guys. They justify it. And it's all, and they, the, they're justifying it through all the media and social media and all the other garbage, okay, guys? There's a lot of lies being portrayed out there to cover it up. Why do people say it's okay for the LGBT and all this? Because of that saying, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Everybody was like, okay, well, you can, you know, as long as you don't say nothing about my sin, I won't say nothing about your sin. It's time to get a little bit of Holy Ghost backbone, guys, whether you're a men, you're, we're all ministers, okay? Whether you're a stay-at-home mom, single mom, single dad, or some of these supposed mega churches, man, a lot of them have been, have been closed down, guys, honestly. Why? Because God wants to build his church, but he wants to build it the way he wants to build it, not the way we want to build it. I'm going to end with this, because this, for some reason, correlates to it. I'm sure it does. Told me a while back, he said, take the word revival out of it. Take movement out of it, because it's going to be an outpouring. But he can't pour new wine into old wine skins, at least they burst. I'm kind of dealing with some stuff right now that that's kind of the realm I'm in, but dealing with a lot of just stuff. But I have to throw away the bad and keep the good. And I've been giving it to the poor and the needy and different people. But I have to call it some of it's trash. Trash, what's trash? Can't not usable. And keep the good stuff. A long, a long, it's a long journey on this one, guys, but <clears throat> he can't pour out his spirit upon all flesh and upon these weak wine vest, wine skins because they're going to burst. They're not going to hold it. We've got to get this right, guys. No more hiding. There's not like really a main sin, but there is larger demonic forces at play and the death and the, the killing has got to stop. Name calling and all that, telling people it's, it's sin is not gonna work. Guys have got to change their hearts. And we're not going to do it when we're in darkness ourselves. And justifying and hiding. A lot of churches aren't even opening up. Because of the convenience of it, honestly. They just want the internet stuff to work. Remote controlled and just kind of just so that another hiding in plain sight. All this hiding in plain sight isn't going to work anymore, guys. <clears throat> We've got to let God be God. Jesus be Jesus. The Holy Ghost be the Holy Ghost. And the Word be the Word. <clears throat> We've got to get back to the Father. We've got to come boldly before the throne of grace and glory. But we got to do it through the blood of the Lamb and through Jesus. We've got to be directed by the Word, by the Holy Ghost, lead, guide, and direct us to all truths. And we've got to be 
digging in the word. I'm not asking you to, I'm not, I'm not running for president. I'm not asking you to vote for me. I'm not asking for anything. I'm telling you guys, it's neology. It's going to be not one by theology, but by neology. Let's get a hold of God. Ask him tonight, this morning, 5 a.m., great time. It's pretty imperative that we all get together as a nation. We're not going to win this without coming before the altar, before weeping between the porch and the altar. <clears throat> no more debates. Look where it's got us, guys. We stuck our head in the sand and we've ignored it. God's not ignoring it. I'm sorry to tell you. The proof's in the pudding. It's the one old black preacher I sat under for six years. Great minister. Doesn't come out in the wash, it's gonna come out in the dryer. It's coming out, guys. Because he wants his bride without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. The purity that he's taking us to and through. That's what all this fire is about. And I put this out there and it is. It, we're, we're in the midst of a storm. And it was from 8-11 to 9-11. So it's decision time, guys. Not time for the politics and if you vote for one person versus another. It's it it's not about voting, it's way past that, guys. It's about praying, being ready for this outpouring of the Holy Ghost, Joel's army. And we're not gonna get it with the impurities that are in our lives. And the biggest one is overlooking the death spirit that's driving all of this. That's why I'm so adamant about the mask business because the coronavirus, it's all hiding in plain sight, leading to death and destruction. It's just part of it. Look at how much crazy stuff came about because of it, honestly. It's programming us to just capitulate. Honestly, it is. There's no, I mean. One, one. One thing I saw posted and it was very simple and, it made, and it's like, man, okay. If there's 98 point, you fact checkers, check it out. 98 point whatever percent survival rate of this coronavirus, well, why do we have to have a vaccine then? If most people survive from it, the vast majority of people survive from it. What's the point of the vaccine? There's going to be stuff put in it for one. It's going to be usher in the mark of the beast. It's a control. There's all kinds of demonic forces behind that, guys. But the main one is to steal, kill, and destroy. And the main culprit behind that is Satan himself. He's using all kinds of dis, dis, whatever demonic forces he can. And he's using people, too. Just like God has people, so does the devil. So are we going to sit back and be a bunch of do-nothings again and run to our churches or hide what, what, what they're telling us to do now? Man, stay in your house or whatever or hide behind a door for what? Come on, guys. It's time. These are dollar, dollar tree ones. It's time to put these on. The spiritual ones, though, guys. To see in the spirit, and you're not going to see in the spiritual realm. You're not going to see this stuff. Watching the news, YouTube's barking about stuff. 
even attending church, you're going to, when you ask God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word, that's why the 5 a.m. prayer is so important because it's not a bunch of hoopla and sensationalism and it's just you, you and Him. But He sees the unity of the body of Christ because we're all doing it together. And you might be 12. I mean, we really need to be praying 24-7, honestly, guys. But 5 a.m. seems to be a theme that he's just really telling me to hammer on and push, promote, and let God's people know, come on, get up with me. See, it's almost 3 now. <sighs> Central time and in Dallas. Love you guys. Let's just. We've got to get this right. Love you guys. Um, I'm going to go back to prayer. I'm going to be drinking some coffee, waking up, and I will be with you guys at 5 this morning. Great cup, really, honestly. Great scripture. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways. And he'll direct your path. He's going to... That's what I'm saying. That's the whole just of this, guys. Go ask him. Get it directly. That's the beauty of the cross. We can get it directly. And the enemy doesn't want us to see that. Instead, he's just got all these forest fires and all this stuff that he's barking and all this death and destruction and ter terrorizing the place. <clears throat> I'm going to end with the... Well, no, I'm not. That's a whole other message. Love you guys. Um, didn't want to do this one, honestly. But here it is. Love you guys.